Well, hello there, Cancer Leo Cusper. Thank you so much for tuning into your monthly reading for April 2020, and welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is so nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, I'm doing a mini, a mini freestyle reading for you guys here. If you're if you're familiar with my channel, if you know my freestyle readings, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, don't worry about it. Just stick around. You're about to find out. So. I'm just going to jump right into it. I have your pre-shuffle energies here. And I want to say um, that there is some sort of turmoil. There's turmoil. There's justice being served all around right now, okay? But for you, Cancer, it's really... Oh, I'm sorry, Cancer Leo, Cusper. I want to say that it's very interesting. Uh, this is the second round or the second month that I'm doing these Cusp readings. And I'm really starting to recognize how... The energies are very similar between all the signs, but also it's similar between the end caps here. So like, for example, we'll t let's talk about Cancer. I just did the Cancer Gemini reading, and it feels like you guys are definitely going through some sort of transition. But on the Cancer Gemini side, there's a good amount of aggression. Like someone's ready to fight. Someone's ready to chop some heads, rip some new assholes, that kind of thing. On the Cancer Leo side, it's like, okay, yeah, there's this turmoil here. There's something that's going on. There's something that's wrong, okay, or has gone wrong. Okay, I guess you could say that. But you guys have a little more of a higher point of view about it than maybe the Cancer Geminis. It's like you have this, and, and this, this absolutely could be like the fight, the fight, the, the the aggressive energy could be coming from the gemini side even though cancer the cancer and part of the situation is feeling very emotional okay and the emotions are the driving force here but for you guys on this end the cancer leo it's like that leo energy is coming in the the regalness the royal energy of leo is coming in and saying look i'm i'm above all this mess like i am not even trying to be involved here i know that there's an ending happening you do have the Ten of Swords in reverse. You also have the Five of Swords here, which is upright. And this is kind of giving me an against all odds energy. Um, you know, doing whatever it is you can to, to, to let go of this situation. Um, but it's going to bring you satisfaction and a new start for sure. And I think you're well aware of this, Cancer Leo Cusper. Cusper. And so you, I had to really drive the message home for the, the Cancer uh, 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 Gemini Cusper to like not engage do not engage but you guys on this end of the cancer spectrum you're like mm, i'm not really trying to engage anyway i'm more focused on my pentacle i'm more focused on what's coming towards me rather than what's on its way out okay i like that i like that a lot all right guys so let's go ahead let's move forward here and let's see what else we can pull for you for this month Ooh, judgment just popped out. All right. So higher calling. All right. You guys do really see this from a higher perspective. Um, you're naturally more inclined to. Again, I feel like it's this Leo energy that's bringing forward this higher perspective, this energy of dignity and self-respect and all that. So that's a good thing. Not to say that individuals on the Cancer Gemini side don't have dignity or self-respect, but they're just a little more aggressive. That's all. I mean, it's a different energy, okay? All right, kids. So let's see what we've got for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancer Leo Cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. You know, guys, uh, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but you know what I think is really helping you stay in that temperament or that tempered energy is the combination of fire and water, you know, that would represent this Leo Cancer Cusper. And it's very much like the Temperance card because traditionally in the Tarot, the Temperance card could be seen or, or is depicted as sometimes um, an angel uh, combining fire and water, right? Two completely opposite, complete opposites, but tempering them together. Okay, so I just feel like you have this, this calm, 
cool temperament about you doesn't mean there's nothing going on underneath the surface oh absolutely not but on the surface you're cool as a cucumber two and yeah both leo and cancer can be fairly dramatic um but i don't feel I, I again there's this level of higher wisdom that i'm picking up for you guys that's not even like you're not even you are not even pressed <laughs> I love it. Yeah, although I will say, I mean, maybe some of you are feeling the pressure, but still, you're not even pressed. Okay. Okay, fine. Because you're so focused on what it is you're moving towards that it's like, I don't have time to deal with anything from the past that's just going to waste my energy. <clears throat> you have this understanding that you want your energy to be going towards where you want to be going instead of putting it in bullshit from the past. Five, five, five on the counter. All right. Beautiful. Boop. All right. Cancer, Leo, Cusper, overall energy. Look, you've got the eight of wands, man. The, ener the air is clear. It's like there are no obstacles in your way. Couldn't stop you if they tried. And like, I'm being real AF right now. Couldn't stop you if they tried. Like nothing can distract you. Nothing can move you off this path. Nothing can get your mind out of moving towards what it is you truly want underneath the eight of wands is the empress fucking right y'all the empress this is abundance this is unconditional love this is nurturance this is like baby you could do anything you want you just let me know let's plant that seed together says the empress excellent underneath the two of cups with oh the queen of swords yo check it i feel like someone is flying solo here solo dolo because this queen of swords energy is 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 chopping away i feel like someone just broke up someone got the and also the queen of swords can represent a, a divorcee someone that has was previously married or it just could be someone that's been hurt you know and is making and is making some pretty harsh cuts cold and fast and not even trying to discuss it like you this could be a situation where someone you were dating someone and either you or them or they like they cut you out they they broke up with you but you didn't even hear it from them type of energy like you heard it through the grapevine like this person didn't even have enough respect for you or you didn't even have enough respect for this other person to tell them to their face or to even send them a damn text message. Ooh, that is cold, man. That is ice cold. But check it out. Someone doesn't care. And it's with this empress energy that they feel so emboldened not to care because they are abundant. They're powerful. They're connected to the universe. They're rep they're under this really could be a very toxic situation that you're cutting yourself out of that maybe doesn't deserve or at least from your egoic point of view, it doesn't deserve the respect of being let down to their face or again, even through a text message. Um, now, I also feel like you guys are, are, are keeping at bay anything that would keep you from finding a loving relationship and you're really focusing on working with the universe, the empress energies, the abundance of, of the universe that we all have to manifest a new partnership. And it could be happening very quickly. There could be a lot of communication right now back and forth between you and a new partner. Um, and, but it might be an energy, they may be perceiving you as putting them through the ringer a little bit with this queen of swords energy, because it's like, you're going through the vetting process right now. You're asking like, you're, it's like basically like you're playing 20 questions, but the 20 questions that you have for them are like carefully cultivated and you're watching and you're paying very close attention to the answers that they give you because any slight misstep is going to raise red flag concerns, which could potentially pull them out of the race for you. I mean, you might want to chill on that a little bit, <laughs> but please don't let me tell you what to do, right? Okay, let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer Leo Cuthbers, you got. You know, I, before I go any further, I want to say I really feel like you guys are moving forward towards anything that would make you happy. If this does include leaving a partnership behind, dust. Like, this person is left in your dust in favor of moving towards something that's right for you. 
First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer Leo Cuspers. Damn. Justice. Again, y'all. Justice has been coming out for damn near all of the signs that I read for today. Wow. Solo dolo. I mean, not even trying to front like it's a problem. Not even trying to play like you. No. No. Solo dolo. Justice is coupled with... Yeah, the Nine of Cups. See, here's the thing. This is why I feel like you guys are so calm about this. Because ultimately, on some level, whether it's consciously, subconsciously, or just like a, an, an inkling you have somewhere, you know that the air is clear. You know that the path is wide open. You know that however it is you're moving forward right now, or whatever it is you're dealing with, you are going to receive your wish fulfillment. This justice is being served. Someone really could be going through a divorce. And it could very well be that in this divorce settlement, either you're getting exactly what it is that you want and maybe you know that you deserve, or it could, uh, the strongest thing I'm feeling here is just being separated from this individual, from this partner, from this person is enough of a wish for, like you literally have everything you want right now. You don't need a damn thing else. And that's kind of beautiful. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty beautiful. It's kind of how I felt when I got divorced. No, no, just saying. Okay, second set of surrounding energies <laughs> for you guys. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Look at you. And you, I mean, you could have another person. You could have found another person which helped you release yourself from the toxic ex. And now maybe you two are, are, are getting into it. And, you know, you have the space and the, the, the you know, the, the, you, you have the ability to continue moving on together. But also, I feel like this Ace of Cups is very much a cup of self-love. And you could be in the process of really getting back to you with this Two of Cups at the top of the de uh, the top of the reading. That's like, if it is a romantic part. I'm sorry, if it's not a romantic partnership, it's also a the balance between masculine and feminine within harmonious union within. Okay. And I just feel like with this Ace of Cups, the strongest thing that I'm feeling not necessarily that you guys that someone has a new partner. You might. But ultimately, the strongest thing I'm feeling here is a sense of self-love, satisfaction, and contentment. I'm also hearing being happy with the way things turned out. Ultimately, you, you know, it may have turned out in your, fetter, in your favor in a way that's better than you could have imagined. Or maybe the way it turned out, you never imagined you would have been happy or satisfied with. And yet, now that you find yourself in that position, you are. That's good. Don't get me wrong. That is a good thing. Ace of Cups is coupled with. Yep. Six of Wands. There you go. There's the victory. The happiness. The contentment. It's, I really feel like you guys are back. You're back to you. Or at least you recognize this chance to be back to you. To get back to you. To honor yourself again. Or maybe in a different way than you weren't able to in before. I'm going to cough, excuse me, for... Hold on, hold on, let me pause so I'm not coughing in your ear. Okay, all better. Your challenge. Knight of Wands. I'm hearing not moving forward too aggressively, not getting too starry-eyed, not allowing... Uh, uh, look before you leap is kind of the energy that I want to say here. And also, I think there might be a tendency to go a little bit overboard, like really feeling very confident with the way things that, that, um, the way things turned out here. And then as a result of that, getting a little too over ambitious and taking on, taking, biting off more than you can chew in the future. Be careful of that. The Knight of Wands is coupled with, yeah, the Seven of Wands. All right. Don't, uh, don't allow yourself to be too emboldened. Okay, um, allow your, ooh, I just heard, allow yourself a rest period. Okay, you don't have to stay in this activated energy indefinitely. You no, know, you're just going to burn yourself out. Allow yourself some boundaries. Um, and also, now that you are solo dolo, you might be attracting some narcissists, some, um, some fuck boys, some fuck girls, some wham bam, thank you mams, that are just trying to hit it, hit it and quit it. And you don't want that in your life right now. That could very well be something that you're moving away from. I feel like with this Empress energy, you're really stepping into a sense of divine feminine power. So it's not like you are 
blocking any sort of suitors. The right energy to come around is great, but it's like you're not you're not in such a place anymore to just take the first offer that comes to you or 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 take the the attention or the offer of some of the first hot guy or the first hot girl that you know shows you any attention you're like nah I'm good I'm good I really don't need that and I definitely don't want this like wishy-washy knight of wands energy coming into my life so unless you have something more to give me than just that you're blocked or I'm good I don't need it but that's your challenge here. For some of you, even though you are, you might be really leaving a long-term relationship behind, you might be feeling like you wanna, you're single and ready to mingle. You wanna get out there and like, you know, make the rounds, have a few nights on the town, paint the town red, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but stay, stay mature, stay grounded, all right? Don't blow all of the, and all the work that you've done in like a single night. You know what I mean? Just be careful with that. I just, I feel like you guys, though, have your head on straight enough to recognize this before it gets too crazy. So that's a good thing. Closing message or potential outcome from my cancer, Leo Cuthbers. Oof! The Ace of Swords, truth, knowledge, integrity. I feel very strongly that there is a case, a court case, some sort of legal battle that somebody is winning here. For sure. And it's not even like you really have to worry too much about it. It may be a situation in which you feel like, or you know you got it like that. Like you got it in the bag. This this really didn't even have to go this far into litigation or whatnot, but here we are. So fine, let's just do this and get it over with. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords is coupled with... Yeah, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so you're persevering... Um, uh, you're not letting anything get you down. You're not letting anything stop you. But actually, what this is also saying is after a long period of turmoil or whatever, just trust because things you're about you're about to receive the truth. You're about to come out. Excuse me. You're about to come out on top. Something like that. The truth shall set you free. The uh, ruling will will go in your favor, something like that. But you would know, you would know because you know you've known all along. Is is kind of what this is saying? Ace of Wands with the nine, I'm sorry, Ace of Swords with the Nine of Wands. You've known all along, and it was really just a matter of getting everything or everyone else around you to kind of like catch up. <laughs> okay, so let's close this out for you, Cancer Leo Cuspers. Um, we're going to get you just some closing oracle guidance or oracle messages from the unicorns. The unicorns. One last shuffle here. All righty. Here we go. For my Cancer Leo Cuspers, closing message, please, spirit. Nature. Okay, this came out for Taurus also. Um, nature is really going to help you right now. Overall energy is receive. Yeah, yeah, someone is get, is about to receive here for sure. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are, are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. This is you definitely being connected to this Empress energy, okay? But then you also have leadership. Wow. Okay, so na nature says ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals, all right? This is just an energy to help you ground. Just ground yourself. Make sure you're staying well grounded so that your passionate energy doesn't turn into a fiery outburst, right? And finally, you have leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. And I really do feel like you are leading mostly by example here, okay? Allow whatever it is <clears throat> that's happening in your life, if this is a court case, if you're dealing with a divorce, if, whatever you're dealing with, allow that to be a way for you to lead by example. So make sure that you stay in that high ground. Make sure that you stay in that elevated point of view. Make sure that you, because I don't think I said this in the beginning actually, but what I was seeing, the color that I was seeing for you guys before I started the video while I was started beginning to channel your energy was purple. And for me, that's higher wisdom, higher realms, very high priestess energy, you know, um, higher point of view, higher awareness, higher realms, okay? So maintain that integrity. 
and allow yourself to lead by example. And I don't really feel like you have to do anything crazy to get this, to, 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 to fulfill this form of leadership other than just walk in your truth and your integrity. Okay, guys. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Bye.